I'm not entirely sure what corrupting a minor entails, but I am entirely sure that all of my childhood role models should be charged with it. <laughs> I'm Jesse Milestone. Though there are a few thousand people on the internet that might know me better still as the God Empress. Um, but I'm actually not going to tell you any more about that tonight, except to clarify that I don't do porn. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I do do therapy, though. That's new. That's, like, really brand new. Um, yeah, and for anyone else who's ever uh, recently started therapy, you might be acquainted with the uh, strange phenomenon of suddenly discovering your childhood was full of trauma. <laughs> like, you didn't know, but, like, it was. Mine <laughs> was, is what I'm saying. Uh, it turns out it's neither healthy nor normal to just grow accustomed to the fact that the version of love you get is shittier than the version everyone else gets. <laughs> Which is probably the reason why, for so many years, I chose to do stand-up comedy instead of therapy. <laughs> Found out they're not uh, really anything alike, actually. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm doing both. Now I'm doing both. Um, also, got to talk to my grandma a little bit about this whole, like, parents thing. My grandma's 97, which is awesome, by the way. She is still alive. Ooh. It's wonderful. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. She deserves that. Uh, she's seen a lot of wars, um, and uh, and and so she um, she is 97. So she some of her like things she'll say are a little dated. Like we're talking the other day, and she goes, "Oh, Jesse, you know you never see a poor Jew," and I'm like, "I'm right here, Grandma." <laughs> And so on this, she was like, oh, Jesse, you know, no one's ever going to treat you better than your parents. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Can you be 0 for 2 on this one, Grandma? Please. But she is a really good listener. She is. Uh, she let me just really launch into all of this stuff, and I was getting really, really worked up. And then I started to feel bad because I realized I was kind of yelling at her. I'm like, that's not right. And then I realized... This is the first time in years she hasn't asked me to repeat everything I've said. <laughs> Who knew yelling at grandma was a win-win? <laughs> like, I get to unload a lifetime of trauma, and she gets caught up with the family. <laughs> it's great. It's good times. Uh, yeah, so everyone's having a good time, except my parents, who I'm just I'm not, not speaking to, just at all, flat out. Turns out that is a thing you can do. Yeah, and no one can actually make you. Yeah, yeah, no one can make you talk to them if you don't want to. Uh, it's very freeing to have that realization. It also got me thinking about other kinds of things I don't actually have to do. Uh, like, give a shit about anything. Like, anything, right? Yeah, like, my stoners, you feel me. You feel me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm really contemplating, like, moving to Hawaii, just, like, becoming homeless, you know, you know, maybe living that life of crime, always wanted, could be fun, could be fun. I uh, can't do those things, so I love my job too much, I do, I'm a fencing coach, um, straight up, my job is to give ch a child a sword, and then to hit them with the sword. <laughs> and the parents think I'm doing a better job the meaner I am to their children, <laughs> it's fabulous, it's so good, oh my god, it's such a great racket. Um, it's terrible, I can never talk about this with people. Uh, everyone's always like, oh my god, Jesse, why don't you do more jokes about fencing? You're like the only person in the room who can do jokes about fencing. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. I'm also the only person in the room who understands jokes about fencing. <laughs> Fencers be like, oh, well, I repped BFC at the NAC, but I think we're going BC for NAIFCs, but I just don't know who I'm repping for Element of PQRZs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that, that's why. Um, <laughs> Like, 80% of that is actually real, too. Um, yeah. Our fencing has a lot of barriers. We like to keep the outsiders out. We have a lot of fun, quirky barriers of entry, like being 70-odd years behind the times on equality. Um, yeah, which is terrible, because I can't really complain about that to anyone in my sphere, because they don't listen to me, because I'm a woman. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, I do work for a woman, though. I work for a woman, and she is a bitch. Let me tell you, she sucks. She's also me, guys. I work for myself. I'm my own boss, yeah. Uh, it turns out I'm not very nice to myself um, at all. So I've started freelancing on the side. Don't tell my boss. Um, and not only do other people treat me better than I treat myself, they pay me better, too. Yeah. yeah. Turns out it's really hard to know what to charge for your services when you think you're worthless. <laughs> weird. weird. Uh, don't pity me, I'm a therapist now. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll have to do one last fencing acronym. It was my first club. It was the Fencing Academy of Philadelphia. Work that one out, guys. That's F A P. Yeah. Uh, growing up, had a sweatshirt that said Fap Fap on the back. <laughs> Why it's 
said it twice, I have no idea. But it made me very popular in high school. Guys, I have been Jesse Milestone. You've been an audience and a lovely one. Thank you so much.